Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Amy Ecker and today I'm going to be doing an eye look using the MAC. This is called the Burgundy Times 9 Shadow Palette. It has beautiful colors like Honey Lust, Poppy Seed, Quarry, Antique, Embark, Noir, Ho, Star Violet, and Sketch. So to get this eye look here, I will be using several colors such as this one, basically the middle three, and a pop of that color there. So if you want to see how I get this eye look, please stay tuned. Okay, well let's get started. So with this look, I'm using a new primer, which is the Kat Von D Locket Featherweight Primer, and I'm going to do a tutorial on this in another video. And I'm coupling that with her Locket Tattoo Foundation in light number 47. It is a 24-hour transfer-free foundation. So if you're interested in that, check out my other video. I'm going to start by framing my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I am using a flat brush. The color is chocolate typically like to start out with my foundation and my brows in place. That just seems to start the canvas before the artistic playing begins. We have the Painterly Prolong Paint Pot in number 836. I'm going to start out with Baby Face from Makeup Geek. We have Max Burgundy Times 9. This one includes the colors Honey, Honey Lust, Poppy Seed, Quarry, then we have Noir, Embark, Antiqued. We have Sketch, Star Violet, and Ho. And I'm so excited. I'm not sure where I want to start. We're going to take a Morphe M433 brush. We are going to start with Poppy Seed. Poppy Seed's going to be our transition color. Hi, sweet boy. Then we're going to go in. I'm going to try this nice bright color here, which is Star Violet. I'm going to try that actually for the crease. Bring that towards the inner corner. And we're going to take a Morphe 510 brush, nice, big, and fluffy and clean. And we're just going to smooth that out. Not exactly a flat brush. We're going to take the Embark and have that go all over the eyelid. All right, we got another pebs. We got two pebs. And then on the brow bone, we are going to take Honey Lust. What a cute name is that. We'll take a bit more of the Star Violet. And go along the lower lash line. 
we will take a nice flat square brush by Morphe, a 432. Take a bit more of the Embark. Use that in the outer third. We're going to try some Sephora Outrageous Intense Waterproof Gel Liner on a tiny bent brush from e.l.f. Okay, so I'm one of those people that will use the brush on the inner water line. And I was watching Makeup Geek and she was like, I don't know how any of you guys do that. Um, she said to take a pencil and put it in your gel liner. So we're going to see how this works. She hasn't let me down yet. And then use that to pop in your gel liner. And she's right, you don't have the little bristles hitting your little eyeball. So, um, not sure why I haven't been doing this a lot sooner than now. Isn't that why we watch all these different channels and we get our favorites so that we get an opportunity to try some of their suggestions? So yeah, that works really nice. I'm just going to take that from the waterline and go a little bit into the lash line. Nice little black mark right there. Who doesn't like putting on mascara and not getting it everywhere? Hello? Okay, I'm gonna pop on little dabs eye glue and start setting. And we're gonna use some Kiss eyelashes. And we're gonna pop, just put some glue all on that lash line of the falsy and I can hear the rest of the pups waking up so we do have pretty loud pups um, we rescue so it could get barktacular in a minute okay first one went on easy And there pops on the second one, nice and easy. I'm going to just take my tweezers and pop right off that little piece of mascara. So if you're patient and you let it dry, it does come off your skin easy. If you're impatient, not that I've ever been impatient, you might smear it. And I have done that. Okay, so I'm going to try a new um, Physician's Formula powder. This is called a Mineral Wear Talic Free. It's an uh, airbrushing press powder. So that kind of intrigued me while my little eye lashes are setting up. I use just a regular Kabuki type brush. I don't know where I got it. Don't know what the name is. Now because I am aging, I do not put powder right here. Um, so I skip that little area because I do have a lot of fine lines right here. Um, 
I don't like to put powder in there to dry it out. And I don't like to put powder in there to fill in the fine lines. Next I'll go in with the Smashbox. It is the Highlight and Contour palette. And I will use a nice e.l.f. contour brush. I'm going to go with the middle color, dab a little bit of the darker smile so I get an idea of where that cheek line is. And use that to contour. Decisions, decisions. Probably pop these two pans. And that is Promise Ring. So you guys have seen me use these before. And Puppy Love. And I'm just going to smile a little bit and pop that on the apples of my cheeks. Take the Jaclyn Hill palette. I use another e.l.f. A little highlighting brush. I think this one, this one is Rose Spritz. So we're just going to highlight. And then I'm going to go ahead, my lashes should be nice and set. So I'll use the Lash Sensational. Which is, I've got to get another one. This actually hits really good. Um, my sister in law. The makeup mom recommended it on one of her channels. I am going to go in with one of the newer ColourPop Metallics. This one is in Three Way. do this nice rose look. I hope you enjoyed this look and tutorial with the MAC eyeshadow coupled with some um, color pop on the lips and some makeup geek on the cheeks and I also if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I know you have the opportunity to look at many artists and follow them and I would be so honored and I am thankful for the time you've spent on this video. Don't forget to make it a beautiful day.